Mm-hmm. A common question that uh, most people ask is, how do we, do I start blogging or where do I start? When it comes to blogging, before choosing the domain, before choosing the platform, before choosing how you're going to do it, the first thing you need to do is, uh, is the niche. The niche means that selecting or making a, a decision on what you're going to write about. Because now here, here is the question, what do I write about? Someone may ask. Or well, what do I blog, blog about? Because necessarily, it need not be writing. It can be a podcast. It can be it can be a B blog. It can be anything. But now the first thing is the niche. Whether it's YouTube, whether it's podcasting, whether it's whatever platform you are using, you need a niche. Now, how do you select a niche? Uh, this is where this is where self awareness comes come come comes uh, to be in Adi. Because the, the six, uh, you have to know, you have to, to, the best niche is something that you know. It's something that you really know, that's something that is just in you. So we are talking about something that you know, but also, uh, it also helps to, to choose a, a niche or something to blog about, something that you can be able to commercialize. Uh, but now here, here is selecting a niche. Uh, yes. Part opinion, part and advice, uh, please avoid uh, common niches like uh, makeup, uh, fashion, or cooking. Most, mostly, let's go with fashion and makeup. There's nothing wrong with these niches. Some people have done this uh, makeup and, uh, and fashion and, and done it big. The problem is that uh, not that too many people are doing it, okay, maybe too many people are doing it, but no, the only way that you can do this is that you have to be extremely good at these things. You have to stand out, because you have to stand out, you have to find a way to stand out, and so if you can choose another niche, like not uh, makeup or fashion, but you are not saying that you cannot do fashion or makeup, you are saying that if you can do them, make sure it's something that you are extremely good at. It's something that you can be able to, th- to, to stand out. But then again, there's no limit on this when it comes to a niche. You can go as far as, as, uh, as you can. There's lifestyle to, 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 to consider. There's uh, mental health issues. There's sports. There's music. There's movies, there, there are so many things that they say real estate, construction, architecture, design. There are, there are so many things you can choose among. So the first thing that you need to do is choose a niche. And even if you choose a niche, you don't feel like it's something that is tying you down because along the way, you know the way they say that way brings on to way. As, as you go, as you go on blogging, then you can diversify, then you can bring bring in other other material. Uh, okay, so that's the first thing that you need to consider. That's on the niche. Niche means that something that you need to, to be blogging about. That that we have seen comes before knowing that we you know how, how often you're gonna blog, is it weekly, is it daily, is it monthly, you read be a video, you read be an audio, you read be a text, you read be on Facebook, you read be on WordPress, you read be on blogger, you read be on, on a self-hosted website or a website with a, a professional website, the niche comes first. And that's the first answer of the question. In the next coming series, this has been a long time coming, we do about uh, platforms, we go about choosing a domain, we go about some details about WordPress, and also remember to, to check, there's a video I've done on, there's a video I've done on why should you blog that that one i think it comes in in this series so we'll do more on that and now this has been the first video on on where how do i blog where do i start that's what you should know it's mostly about the niche um liners we'll be catching up on more on this thank you